Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your What's Coming reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well. So for the What's Coming readings, it does not matter. Ooh, sudden wealth. Um, for the What's Coming reading, it does not matter what your zodiac sign is or what your gender is. Absolutely anyone may resonate with this message. But as always, I do ask that you use discernment to take what resonates and leave what does not. Yes, my voice is a little bit echoey. I am in a different setting. Um, but please remember, take what resonates, leave what does not. I also want to remind you guys that unfortunately, uh, you know, the, the tarot card community has been targeted by scammers, okay? Um, so watch out for those spam uh, comments of people reaching out to you. I will never reach out to you for a reading. I don't even do private readings. So if you do come across those scammers, just block them or ignore them, okay? So what's coming towards you is sudden wealth, which is, wow, it's like you've hit the jackpot, right? Something very positive. Um, what's coming towards you is abundance. Clarify sudden wealth. You have the Queen of Wands. So we're using the Kipper deck and we're using the Modern Witch Tarot deck, okay? And I always list all the decks that we use here on the channel in the description box. So you have Sudden Wealth. In Clarity of Sudden Wealth, you have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands sits victoriously on her throne, of course. This is someone who is very optimistic, energetic, very attractive, upbeat, just a very ambitious person, okay? Um, I feel like you're about to, you're about to get something that's really going to make you, um, the way the queen of wands is so ambitious, I feel like there's something you've been wanting and you're going to get it. Um, clarify this sudden wealth temperance. Wow. Temperance represents, uh, peace, contentment, alignment, um, very positive card here as well. Tell us more about sudden wealth. Tell us more about sudden wealth. You're about to come into, <clears throat> look at this, three of wands. I feel like it's so close. The three of wands, <clears throat> excuse me, the three of wands could represent waiting, waiting for an opportunity, waiting for your ships to sail in, looking at what's ahead. You know, I feel like you, you, you're you anticipating that something good is coming in. And indeed, something very positive and major is coming towards you. Um, five of Cups. So the Five of Cups represents regrets, crying over spilled milk, um, being a little bit pessimistic. Let's see. Clarify the Five of Cups. 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 Clarify the Six. Let's do that again. Clarify the Five of Cups. <coughs> Clarify the Five of Cups. The High Priestess. Hmm. By the five of cups yeah you i do feel like you had to walk away from something you had to leave something in the past um i see why the three of wands is here now it's almost like you had to turn your back on something and just look at what's ahead the five of cups it's like something didn't work out here and i feel like you grieved over it but i promise you that there's something so much better that lies ahead um, the, the five of cups, it has to do with the past. Six of cups is here. Reminiscing about the past, reconciling with the past. The high priestess is here. I feel like you know that you have to let this go because the high priestess is very intuitive and insightful. Um, the high priestess is like a psychic. So I feel like you just your mind, body, and soul has told you you have to leave this behind the death is an ending okay you have to leave this behind so that you can make room for what's ahead for something new and what's ahead is number 11 sudden wealth 
it's almost like you're being elevated. Your life is upgrading, but I can understand why you're still grieving over the past because, you know, the past holds memories, right? The past is what we're familiar with. And I feel like there are a lot of changes that are happening in your life and you can't help but to reflect on the past. I get it. Um, but I feel like with this Queen of Wands energy, I also feel like you're very optimistic and excited about the future. Yeah, you are. Actually, the Three of Swords in the reverse, you've healed. Yeah, you've healed. And I feel like the reason why you're getting this, su this sudden wealth is because um, you were able to absolutely turn your back on the past. In order, one door has to close in order for the next door to open. So because you had the strength, the courage, and the bravery to turn your back on the past, you're now being rewarded with sudden wealth. Look at this. The chariot. The chariot represents moving forward victoriously. Wow. And I love how this three of swords is in the reverse because it shows that you're no longer heartbroken. You're no longer in pain. You're no longer disappointed, right? I feel like you're done grieving. But of course, once in a, you know, of course, it's human nature to reminisce on the past. So tell us more about this temperance card here. Clarify the temperance card. I keep on forgetting to flip over these cards. Don't mind me. Clarify the temperance card. Clarify temperance. Clarify temperance. Clarify temperance. Wow. You're coming into alignment. Like, if you're already someone who's very financially stable, there's more financial security that's coming towards you. You're coming into alignment with something that was meant for you, like, specifically for you. Um, it's almost like a special delivery, right? Um, a special blessing is going to be delivered to you. This page of pentacles, pages are all about communication and messages. I see this page of pentacles as an offer. So this could be an, this, this could definitely be a financial offer that's coming in. Clarify the page of pentacles. <laughs> Three of cups wanted to come out. Celebrations. Clarify the page of pentacles. Clarify the page of pentacles. Two of cups. Wow. Yeah, you're something's gonna happen where it's like the the what's the word? Right time, right place, perfect time, perfect place. You're coming into alignment with a blessing that was specifically that was sent to you. Like it's gonna fall right in your hands. The two of cups is a partnership. There is a financial offer that's that's headed towards you. This is all, I feel like this is divine orchestration at play here because the temperance is a big alignment card. I feel like you, you yourself have come into alignment with your higher self ever since you made that decision to walk away from the past and look ahead of you. You chose something that, that's, that's much better, much greater than the past. So you're about to receive it. Um, this two of cups is a big, big, Oh my gosh, look at this. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is all about the new. New beginnings, new job, new opportunities, new offers. You get a clean a clean slate, right? A new beginning. Tell us more about this, um, this partnership here, the Two of Cups. Wow. Tell us more about this partnership here. Everything is fine. I love seeing the everything is fine card because it looks like the Ten of Swords, which is a betrayal, but it's actually everything is fine. I feel like you wouldn't, you won't have to worry about this partnership. This is not someone who's going to disappoint you or take advantage of you or backstab you. Especially here, the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is like that passionate union between soulmates. It's two people who have a mutual understanding. Death transformations, rebirth. This is going to be different. This partnership, what the death card is telling me is this partnership is different than the other partnerships that you've experienced, but I feel like it's different in a good way. Drastically different is what I'm hearing actually. Hmm. With the eight of pentacles here, this is a work situation. 
The Eight of Pentacles literally represents work, hard work that brings success. You're going to be making a lot of money here with this opportunity. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Two of Wands. I don't feel like you really see this coming because the Two of Wands, yes, it represents, you know, someone who's trying to get a sense of direction. It represents carrying out a plan. Um, it's almost like you don't see this coming. Page of Wands. Hmm. The Page of Wands, Page of Wands, again, another communication card, but the Page of Wands represents good news, good news that brings that brings that passion, that optimism. Let me see, clarify this Two of Wands. Let's give you more details. Clarify this Two of Wands, carrying out a plan. It could even represent a good idea. Someone here could have a good idea to do something. Clarify the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands. Someone here could have a good idea. Clarify the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands. Yeah. Ooh, let me tell you. Th there's someone... There's someone who's going to reach out to you. They're going to give you a financial offer. It's going to be a really good partnership with this Two of Cups. It's truly something that was meant to be. Something is coming into alignment. Um, and everything is fine here. So if the two of you experience, you know, disappointment or betrayals in, in previous partnerships, you don't have to worry about that between the both of you. The death card, whenever there's a death, whenever there's an ending, there's also a transformation, right? Um, a rebirth, a renewal. Someone is making changes here when it comes to, or a change is going to happen when it comes to someone's work situation. Hmm. This person here is the one who's making the change. They are at this two of wands. There's a plan that they have in mind. And the page of wands, yes, it could represent good news, but it could also represent getting a good idea. This person has an idea and they're thinking about how to carry out this plan. They're also with the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. It's them. They are this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is someone who's very genuine. Someone who's very genuine. They have this like really kind, friendly gesture here that they want to extend or offer that they want to extend. And the Lovers is a choice. Someone has chosen you. Someone has chosen you for a partnership, but I feel, I don't feel like it's romantic. It can get romantic later on, but I feel like it's more so like a work opportunity. And the fact that they're carrying this Knight of Cups energy, it is coming from a sincere place. And the lovers is a choice. They've chosen you to partner up with. What is this? Yeah, let me see. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles represents balance or someone who's trying to regain balance. I feel like you already have a lot going on though. So when this message comes in, like the Eight of Wands is a big message card, big communication, like that back and forth communication. So when you receive this offer, you may you may be someone who like kind of has something going on already, or maybe you're trying to, because many of you guys, you have started your new beginning and you're trying to get settled in. And then this offer just comes out of nowhere. You may feel like, oh, I don't know if I could do this. You know, I already have something going on. You can, the Two of Pentacles is balance. Um, you you may need to kind of um it may feel a little bit unbalanced or in yeah it may feel a little bit unstable in the beginning because it's something new right but the two of pencils is juggling you'll you'll be doing two things i kind of feel like you already have something going on right now so when this opportunity comes in you'll just have to get in the habit of just getting that good good stability between between those both things that you're going to be doing but it's not impossible in the beginning it may be a little bit nerve-wracking right because you're you're not familiar with the flow of things but once you get the hang of it you will start to settle in and feel much more secure and stable this is going to come out of nowhere like the eight of wands is that fast-paced energy um 
the devil. Mm. So the devil could represent, it could honestly just simply represent a Capricorn <laughs> um, or it could represent strong desires. Clarify the devil. I feel like you've been anticipating this though. It's almost like you know that you deserve something good and you know that something good lies ahead because you've turned your back on the past. So you're like, there must be something good. God must, you know, must have something good for me in this new beginning. And he does. Um, because with the devil here, the, these are your desires. You do want something good to happen in your life. You're strongly desiring it. Clarify the devil. And it's almost like the more you desire it, the more it comes in. The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles could talk about having an attachment, like holding on to something very tightly and not wanting to let it go. Or it could represent financial security. Hmm. And I kind of feel like that's what it is. Um, King of Cups. Mm, okay. Tell us more about this King of Cups. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking to someone who wants to like conquer the world. They want to conquer the world, but not in a bad way. Um, I just feel like this is someone who... I'm honestly getting like a King of Wands energy. Someone who's very ambitious. Someone who is an innovator. They want to bring in positive changes into this world. They know that a lot needs to be done. I know you're carrying this devil energy and it shows your strong desires. Um, but with the Four of Pentacles here, I feel like... The reason, I feel like I'm talking to someone who wants to make positive changes in this world, but they need like the tools, the resources to do it. And that's what's coming towards you with the four of pentacles here. You have an overload of abundance that's coming towards you, but I don't feel like you're going to abuse this, this abundance. I don't feel like you're going to be greedy because you came out as the king of cups. The king of cups is someone who's very righteous, very loving, kind, and deeply compassionate towards people. If there is a humanitarian or like a philanthropist card in the deck, I would say it would be the King of Cups. King of Cups is into humanitarianism. This is someone who is a giver. This is someone who is righteous. This is someone who is compassionate, intuitive. So I feel like your desire to sort of, uh, not necessarily like the devil, I keep on hearing power. You want power. You want influence so that you can, you can, um, implement these positive changes so and there's this thing about you where i feel like when you strong whoever i'm picking up on whenever you strongly desire something the more you desire it it's almost like you obsess over it because the devil can represent someone who's like obsessive and kind of controlling and addicting or addictive but it's just your strong desires when you really want something your desires can really pull it in. And I feel like that's how you're actually manifesting this sudden wealth here. I feel like with the, with the four of pentacles, you want, you want something big. You want a lot, but I don't feel like it's all for yourself. I feel like it's for a good purpose here. You're showing up as this king of cups. And because you want this for a good reason, it's like, you're asking for something huge, for something major, but it's the intent behind it, right? It's the intentions that you carry. Because you want to do something good with this kind of massive wealth, that is why you're being given an Ace of Pentacles. Look at the helping hands of the Most High. You're being given this wealth, this sudden wealth, because the Most High knows that you're going to be you're going to be doing something good with it. It's not like out of greed. Um, oh my gosh. 
do you want to do something because uh, the five of pentacles came out as well i just put it over to the side i wonder if this is some sort of like um humanitarian work that you want to do are you like a philanthropist or that's something that you want to get into it's just i see someone here who wants to make a difference but they're going to need money they're going they're going to need you know the tools and the resources um you're you're desiring this sudden wealth for a positive reason, not because of greed. Um, and I feel like you're going to take really good care of this sudden wealth. You're not just going to go on a splurge because the four of pentacles is financial security, right? Um, I wonder if you want to do something with the five of pentacles here. Five of pentacles represents a life of difficulties, feeling impoverished, right? Um, is it homelessness? Do you want to help? The, the Five of Pentacles could even represent uh, depression or, you know, people who are homeless or people who are just living a very challenging life and they don't have money or they can't sustain themselves, you know, just ex the, 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 what's the word, the, uh, the unfortunate, right? You want to help those who, who, who are unfortunate. You want to, um, you carry this, I'm telling you, I feel like I'm talking to someone who will really, really be a philanthropist. With a five of pentacles here, you are a giver. The king of cups, queen of cups, they are givers. They're very loving people and they like to give the love that they have. That is what you're manifesting with the magician. So because you're manifesting something for good, right? For the greater good, that's why you're being given this. You're not manifesting this because you want to be the richest person in the world and show off and buy a thousand mansions, blah, blah, blah. You're doing this because you want, you're doing this out of righteousness. I feel like that's really why, what it is and why, oh my gosh, look, 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 look. Are y'all seeing these cards? So the magician is manifestation and the star is wish fulfillment. Oh my gosh. The magician is manifestation and the star is wish fulfillment. Like, 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 oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. The Hierophant is someone who's very influential. The Hierophant is someone who's influential. The King of Swords is someone who enforces law and order. They bring justice. Highly intelligent and very analytical. I'm and I, I literally said it in the channeled message reading yesterday. And I, and I, I got the same message in a live stream that I posted, I think, two, two to three weeks ago. This is a season where God is really working miracles for his people and the righteous are being put in positions of power, authority. Um, the righteous are being put in positions of a hierophant where they're very influential and they make decisions that will influence the masses because the righteous, they will not abuse this power. They will not be greedy, stingy and corrupt right they will handle this this kind of power and influence rightfully righteously oh my goodness the hierophant is a big deal okay people look up to the hierophant whatever this is that you've been manifesting you will get it i mean there's so much comfort, uh, confirmation here i wonder the, the way you strongly desire this, I feel like it's truly to help someone because Spirit is telling me that you saw something that was unjust. You saw something that really, really, it, I kind of feel like it, 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 it hits you deep. It, 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 it made your stomach turn. You know, something was very unsettling. You saw, you heard, or you experienced something that was very unsettling. And you want to bring righteousness. You want to bring justice and fairness. You want to implement positive changes to help people. And because you're doing this for a good cause, that is why you're being granted this, this sudden wealth here. This is very, very exciting. Um, whoever you are, when this happens, email me, let me know. I'm very excited for you. This is good news. The Queen of Cups, 
the Queen of Cups represents someone who is very, very loving. Yeah, yeah so something happens here. The Holy Spirit is telling me you, you experience or you experience an injustice or you saw an injustice and you you sat there and you were like, I can change this. I can turn this around. I can implement um, change. You are you are an innovator, whether you know it or not. And this is just reminding me of the message that I put out in today's live stream where I said many of you guys are sitting in this energy of a hierophant. You are highly, highly influential. When you speak, things happen. And even when you just think, things happen, okay? You have that power of influence. And it's because you handle it righteously. You don't abuse it. You don't take advantage of people. You're, you're not greedy or stingy, right? Um, but I said in the message uh, in today, today's live stream where I said, many of you guys, you are influential innovators. It doesn't matter what your profession is. If you're a nurse, you can innovate and bring positive changes. If you are a professor, a teacher, a lawyer, an architect, even a student, or, or if you are, if you're one of those really, um, um, creative people, you know, you're an artist, you're a vision, you are a visionary. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That is the word. You are a visionary. When God gives you a vision, when God puts an idea on your mind, you have the influence, you have the skills and the gifts to actually bring that vision to life. And so whatever your profession is, whatever your skill is, whatever your talents, whatever your gifts are, right? You can literally use it as a visionary to bring it to life and to bring about positive of changes in this world many of you don't realize that you are indeed a visionary you are you go to places and you see how things could be better the changes that you can implement that's the that's the that's what visionaries are okay and i feel like now that you're fully in this energy of a higher font or you're about to be put into this, this uh, position of a hierophant where you will be highly influential and people will look up to you. Let me tell you, you will. I see many of you guys really, really being innovative and, and bringing in the positive changes that this world needs. The Queen of Cups is here. You saw something. The Queen of Cups is a sweetheart. Oh my gosh, when Queen of Cups comes out, this is a sweetheart. This is someone who sees the good in people. So it's to the point where sometimes the Queen of Cups may overlook the bad in people, right? This is someone who's very kind, very sincere and genuine. When, when the Queen of Cups does something, it's from the depths of their heart. Um, and I feel like something happened here and it touched you, it was some sort of, maybe it was like an injustice or something that just, it was not right. It was not right, whether morally, maybe something here, something happened that just lacked morals and integrity. And with the Eight of Cups here, you had to turn your back on it because you, you weren't happy. But when you turned your back on it, it wasn't to, to kind of just turn a blind eye or, or, or just walk away. I feel like you walked away, but you were like, I want that to change. I want that to change. I want that person to do better or whatever I've, I've left behind because it, it wasn't good. I didn't like it. I still want it to change. Okay. Um, I hope that makes sense. You have the emperor that's here. Look at the emperor and the justice card. You saw something that wasn't right. Instead of you just sort of walking away and moving on, I feel like you made an intent, an intent for changes to be made, even after walking away from it. Um, the emperor is someone who is in a position of power, control, and authority. Uh, the emperor is someone who, who takes charge. Something... Something, something, something's gonna happen. I'm telling you guys, Tell, uh, clarify this emperor energy here. The emperor is a boss. If you need something done, you go to the emperor or the king of wands. Those are very innovative people. Look at this, six of wands, victory. And then the 10 of pentacles is here. 
you are about to be put in a position of power where you get the final say in a way. You are the one who's going to be taking charge and getting things under control. You're the one who's going to be bringing in justice. Um, whatever the Six of Wands, victory and accomplishments, right? The Ten of Pentacles is here. The Ten of Pentacles could represent a business empire. It could represent generational wealth. It could represent like it's 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 money it's stability it's security um clarify this ten of pentacles here the knights of wands hmm. i wonder if you're going to be owning something or you're going to have ownership of something i kind of feel like that's what it is but the reason why you're going to have ownership is so that you can take charge, take control and implement the rules and the regulations and, you know, really bring about those changes that you know the world needs. Yeah, you are. Six of Pentacles. Mm. And then look, Queen of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles, it could represent... Uh, sharing, being charitable, equal give and take, reciprocity, um, investing, or being invested in. You're going to have, like, you're, I feel like this is some sort of, I don't know if you're going to have a share in something. You're going to have a share in something or you're going to have ownership of, of something. Because the Queen of Pentacles is here. This is someone who's very abundant, very successful as well. I feel like this partnership here, remember what, what, how I told you that Knight of Cups, someone has an offer for you. They want to partner up with you. They're going to they're gonna share something with you. Like you guys are going to manage something together. Clarify the Knight of Wands. You guys are Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning here. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. I, I just feel like this season, many people, like true, true, true children of God, they're being put in positions of power so that they can bring in the, the necessary changes to help people. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Ooh, you guys, sorry. Let me do that again. The message is hot. The message, <laughs> the message is hot, you guys. Like, the energy of this reading. Clarify the Knight of Wands. I know this reading is for someone. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Four of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Let me see. Eight of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. There is what is this that I'm hearing? Clarify this Knight of Wands. Because the Knight of Wands, um, this could represent someone. I know the Knight of Wands is very passionate and determined. But the Knight of Wands could be someone who's also a little bit reckless, for flirtatious, you know. Um, this is someone who can be a little bit unstable too. The Knight of Wands is seen as someone who's like fleeing, fleeing the scenes, immigrating. Um, the Hangman, release. Who is this Knight of Wands? I don't feel like this is your energy. This Knight of Wands. It could be, but clarify this Knight of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands. Who is this Knight of Wands? Clarify this Knight of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands. Hmm. Let me see. Ace 
of Wands, Nine of Cups. Okay. <laughs> you guys want <laughs> you want to know what I'm hearing? You're going to come out of Okay, do you see how this this uh it's almost like the Knight of Wands is it's almost like a younger energy like the the King of Wands, a younger energy than the King of Wands, right? But just look at the horse. Like this horse is on fire. Look at you. You're not playing with these people. This is your energy. When you get in this position where you can really implement the change that you want, you're not letting you're not going to be held back. I feel like you're going to implement those changes immediately. Like the Knight of Wands is ambitious. Like this is someone who can be very reckless as well. You stand in their way, they'll run you over. You're clearing everything out. I I, I just kind of feel like when you get this opportunity, you're truly going to be a force to be reckoned with because no one, you're not going to allow anything or anyone to stand in your way of doing what you have to do. You're sitting in this two of swords energy, stubborn as hell, okay? <laughs> the two of swords, you know, like I, I kind of feel like you, you have a goal. You have things that you want to do. And once you get in this position of power and influence, you're going to take charge immediately. Um, I also feel like with this Four of Swords and this Eight of Swords here, this is something that you've been anticipating to do. Like, it's almost like I see you writing something. Just you're going to be moving very, very quickly. Um, and that's that that's that fiery blazing energy that the Knight of Wands carries because you've had so much on your mind. You've had so much that you've been wanting to do. You've just been waiting for for the Most High to grant you that chance to really bring in these changes. You're here as the Ace of Wands, a passionate, passionate new beginning. The Nine of Cups, success, satisfaction, fulfillment. The Hangman release, surrender, letting go. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who is very successful and well accomplished. I kind of feel like you're going to be in your own own zone and not give give a dang about what anyone has to say. This is something that you've been anticipating. So the minute you get the opportunity to do it, you're going for it. I love how you're sitting or you will be sitting in this hangman energy because the hangman, it represents letting go, releasing and surrendering so you can see things rightfully. I feel like you're in, you're in this, this space or this clear space where you see exactly, you see things exactly the way that they need to be seen. You're seeing things accurately. You're seeing things rightfully. That way you'll be able to make the correct changes. Okay, um, this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow. Tell us more. Tell us more about anything else before we end the reading. Anything else before we end the reading here. Four of Wands, redemption. Four of Wands is redemption, celebrations, commitments, marriage, but I feel like this is redemption. Whatever you had to leave behind, the Six of Swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. I know certain things didn't work out in the past for you, but I honestly feel like what didn't work out for you was a redirection. It redirected you on your rightful path and you're headed towards redemption. You're headed towards victory and success and celebrations. The Four of Wands is a very, very positive card. All right. So I feel like many of you guys, you were asked to make certain changes in your life. Okay. And, and when I say you were asked to, I don't feel like someone told you to or man didn't tell you to i feel like it was honestly the holy spirit that was urging you to make certain changes in your life 
and you did it. You did it obediently. You did it even if you, even if deep down you wanted to stay comfortable. Even even if deep down you wanted to stay where right where you were, you still were obedient and you made those changes. And now God is about to fulfill His promises to you. This is so exciting. You didn't go through all of that for nothing. I promise you. I assure you that. If I could just like give you my eyes so that you can see what the Holy Spirit has been showing me. You have a lot. You have a lot to look forward to. Lots of success, lots of fulfillment, lots of growth and, and, and expansion here and a lot of blessings that are coming in. So I'm going to end the reading here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope that this message helps you listen to it over and over and over and over <laughs> so that you won't lose hope. Okay, have faith and everything's going to happen within divine timing. So thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. Channel. And if you're interested in connecting with me more, you're always welcome to check out the description box. All of my information will be there. Thank you all so much. Take care. Many blessings to you.